I'm Joe Forbes. I'm president of Scenic Art Studios and I am the general manager of the studio and form of Scenic Arts. Because I walk in the door of this shop and there are some mornings where the brilliance, just the sheer incredible beauty of the art that is laid out on the floor just gets me excited just just makes me happy puts a smile on my face all my cares melt away just for that moment when i first walk in the door and, and the people that are here first will tell you i walk in the door and i just stare for a while because uh, i love it i just i just love it. i love doing it i love being a part of it i love the people i work with so. Well, my inspiration, when I was at the University of North Carolina, I studied under a genius. His name was Andreas Nomikos. He was one of the finest artists I've ever met. A brilliant man, spoke seven languages, had a degree in law from Cairo University. He would tack out drops on the main stage and between classes, any chance you could, there was always this audience of, of students that were just awestruck just watching him paint he was so brilliant and he was so good and it, it sort of you know created that spark in me oh i wish i could you know do that someday and i think that's probably where i my first inspiration started once i graduated from the university of north carolina i went to school at lester polikoff studio on form of stage design and the faculty was all broadway designers it was an incredible place and lester taught the scene painting class and he taught very practical step-by-step -step formulaic processes that sort of gave students that were learning their craft a, a sort of a recipe for techniques and processes and it was such a valuable education for me personally that, uh, you know, 30 years down the road, we opened the studio in form of scenic arts as an homage to Lester and what he taught, and we continue to teach his lessons today. You have to have a broad skill set. Being able to draw and mix colors and paint are all critical but you also have to be able to work in a group sublimate your style and your hand to mimic someone else's style and someone else's hand so it requires a rather unique set of skills a lot of scenic artists are also sculptors some are welders of uh, crazy skill sets but they all work when you're talking about being a scenic artist I think the best advice I could give an artist is to draw and paint every single day. You get good at what you do. And if you do it every day, you can't help but get better. In today's society, we are bombarded with digital images 24-7. From the time you wake up to the time you go to bed at night. You go to the theater to escape that world. You go to the theater to see life. That's why you go, to see things that are created by human beings. And painting is so much a part of that. Uh, to me, it's what makes theater magic. Uh, I can't envision a theater that doesn't have painting in it. To the theater, the scenic artist is an integral part of creating magic on stage and it's what separates a scenic artist from other types of artists we're adding to a collaborative process and the magic of theater is when you add up all of those pieces what the designer brings to the table what the scenic artist brings to the table the directors the actors all of those pieces come together and when it's really working the show itself becomes bigger than the sum of its parts. And that's the true magic of theater. I love what I do. I've always loved what I do. Coming off of the floor, being a scenic artist, and, and moving into the front office, 
and taking on the responsibilities of running a company is a challenge to me. I wasn't trained in business. I, I, there's so many things that I still am learning. It's part of why I continue to be so involved with the industry and still having fun because every day is still a challenge for me. Uh, I learn something new on a daily basis. The most challenging thing is trying to keep business in the arts industry on an even footing because the, the workflow, you never know how busy you're going to be. If I know what I'm doing a month ahead, I feel pretty good. Uh, it's, you're, you really have no idea what the future holds and you have to be able to balance that natural fear of not knowing what your future is with the knowledge that you have a quality product and that hopefully people will continue to want your product. You know, it's changed a lot over the past few years. Uh, you know, running Scenic Art Studios used to be me. <laughs> now having an actual, you know, group of people who are helping to manage the business is a thrill. The office now has a bit of a life of its own, separate from the artists and the work that they're doing. So I get to kind of dance back and forth between two worlds, and it's a lot of fun. I'm just having a great time. It's just the greatest feeling in the world. You know you're creating something magical, you know you're creating something that is going to stun audiences. They're gonna be left breathless. And it's, it's just the most exciting thing in the world. And, and if you're working with a designer who lets you bring what my artists bring to the table and it becomes a collaborative process, well, now it becomes something even more special. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, that's what theater is. That's the essence of it. In an arts-driven industry, you have to be able to hang your hat on something to say, this is what I do really, really well. We're really good at painting backdrops. It's what we do. And we're really good at painting scenery. It's what we do. And it's what we've perfected. I never dreamed that I would be painting Broadway shows. And to be at a point where, you know, so many of the shows on Broadway have scenic art studios in the credits, uh, that's an incredible, for me, that's an incredible accomplishment. It's more than I could have ever hoped for. And I just want it to keep going. I'm just having fun. I don't want it to stop. Actually, so cool. Three and a half years ago, I had a heart transplant. Uh, I was dying. I have a second chance of life here. And passing it forward and helping the next generation along and helping to give them the tools that they need is like a mission for me now. It's something that, that gives my life worth. It's, it's really the most important thing I do to see that, that the lessons I've learned and the knowledge that I have gets passed on to the next generation. That's, that's a big deal for me. Susan Jackson is now the Vice President of Scenic Art Studios. She started at Scenic Art Studios when she was 15 years old. She was still in high school. Uh, she was drawn by the artwork, putting paints on shelves and emptying trash cans and generally just making herself useful any way she could to be around the artwork. And over the years, she progressed through every job in the company. Then she took the test and became a scenic artist and then she became a project manager, and she is now the one who runs the company. She takes care of the day-to-day -day operations, 
uh, and she's brilliant. Because she has always been here, she has an intimate knowledge of the company. She knows exactly how things need to happen and why they need to happen that way. And having somebody like that is just incalculable how, how much value that has for me. Uh, and she's a delight to work with. So, uh, you know, she's, she's, she's the family. I'm no one special. I have a skill set that any number of people have. I think it's my passion and the fact that I wanted to keep doing it and still have a love for it that, that maybe separates me from a lot of people. But, uh, you know, I have no illusions about who I am. I'm just an average Joe, <laughs> just a guy trying to get through every day. So. The other thing that has made Scenic Art Studios possible all these years is the love and support of my business partner and my wife, uh, Deborah Lee. Uh, she has always stood behind me. She has always stood in front of me. She has always been that rock that I could build upon. And without her, none of this would be possible. So I owe her a true debt besides the fact that I'd be dead if it weren't for her. Yeah.